Morocco have stunned the world by making it to the quarterfinals. The African side eliminated Spain from the 2022 World Cup. And you're about to find why and how they achieved the biggest win in their history. Fasten your seatbelts, because this will be as fast as Bono flying off his line. Here are the six reasons why Morocco knocked Spain out of the World Cup. Top class defense. By this point, Morocco's incredible World Cup performance is down to many factors. But we couldn't start this video without mentioning their astonishing defensive unit. Up against world-class forwards, the likes of Lukaku, Kramaric, Batshuayi, Davies and Ferran Torres to name a few, Moroccan defenders managed to nullify them all. In fact, Morocco have only conceded one goal so far during the World Cup, and it was an own goal during their 2-1 victory over Canada. Kudos to Hakimi, Mazraoui and their fellow backline, yes, but they've also been supported by arguably the best keeper of the tournament so far. You too, Bono? Yassine Bounou, aka Bono, was without a doubt the star of Morocco's impressive round of 16 victory. Sevilla's goalkeeper was an impenetrable force in the Morocco net, and he even did it with a smile on his face. Man, talk about confidence, right? After hanging in there for over 120 minutes and a few decisive saves against the Spaniards, Bono knew that he had his nation's hopes in his hands and he produced the goods to save two Spanish spot kicks. After Sarabia hit the post, Bono denied both Carlos Soler and Sergio Busquets enshrining himself in Moroccan folklore. Perhaps Bono's secret was the fact that he plays in La Liga, which leads us nicely on to our third item on the list, spying on their rivals. Morocco's squad has strong ties with Spain and its domestic league. In fact, one of their key men was born on Spanish soil. Ashraf Hakimi, born in Madrid, chose to represent the African nation instead. Despite now playing his trade with PSG, another five footballers are currently playing in La Liga. Bono and Nesiri play for Sevilla, while Ez Abde is on loan at Osasuna from Barcelona, and Javad Al Yami features for Real Valladolid. With this heavy Spanish influence, the Moroccans had the inside scoop. Unbeatable. Morocco's form may have surprised almost everyone, but Moroccans knew just how good they were. Here's a fact that might surprise you. Ready? Morocco have lost only two of their last 44 games. They had gone 30 games unbeaten until Egypt beat them in the African Cup of Nations. Before that, their previous defeat was back in 2019. Still not convinced? Including their encounter with Spain, Morocco have only conceded one goal in their last eight matches. Ok, enough stats, we don't want to bore you, but considering this, it would have taken a brave soul to bet against them in the quarterfinals. That said, there are two teams on any given pitch, so we'd be remiss not to mention this next point, Spain's goalless possession. The Spaniards completed over a thousand passes against Morocco. With 77% of possession, they took care of the ball for over 80 minutes, including extra time. But they only had one attempt on Bono's goal. How do you explain that? The ball's perpetual movement from side to side, defense to midfield, played into Morocco's hands. That being said, Spain did create a few chances, and they also took three penalty kicks, scoring none of them. Still infatuated with the tiki-taka style that brought them World Cup glory in 2010, Spain weren't able to find that cutting edge when their opponents sat deep. After thrashing Costa Rica, Luis Enrique's squad failed to secure victory against Germany, were dangerously close to an early exit against Japan, before finally being eliminated in the round of 16. Morocco did their job, closed every possible avenue and benefited from their rivals' toothless, possession-based play. On to our last item now, but potentially the most important. And it had nothing to do with what happened on the field. Moroccan fans conquered Qatar. Almost 45,000 people were in attendance at the Education City Stadium. And we can say with certainty that tens of thousands of those were supporting the African side. Moroccan fans dominated the scene in the stands. We are from Morocco. We are the Lions, shouted the fervent fan base. Despite the Spanish fans being positioned right behind the goal where the penalty kicks were taken, the Moroccans were the only ones to be hurt. Hours after the historic victory, Moroccans were still celebrating on the streets of Doha. And they had earned the right, as they are in the quarterfinals of the World Cup for the first time in their history. Morocco shocked the world by sending Spain packing, but as we've seen, 
their victory was perfectly orchestrated. Will they become the first ever African nation to reach the World Cup semi-finals? Let us know in the comments. Morocco are ready to keep making history, but before beating Spain, they defeated Belgium in one of the biggest upsets of the 2022 World Cup. Oh My Go revealed the 7 biggest wins by an African team in World Cup history. Make sure to check it out. See you next time.